Hello and welcome to another uh, Jimster586 review video. Actually, I think this is one of the first reviews I've ever done with one uh, review assistant, one Ailey Cat. Today, we're going to review my Kenwood THF6A handheld amateur radio, also known as a handy talkie. Uh, I think it was a couple weeks or so ago I did uh, the unboxing on this, and I have a demonstration video to put up that was requested of the radio. I'm not going to demonstrate it now. This is just a, a kind of a product review. Switch on here. At the same time, give you a look at some of the bits and pieces and such that we'll go over real quick. I'm trying not to take up your whole day here. As you can see here on the screen, the this repeater is set to receive the um, U of R's two meter repeater over on top of Strong Hospital. Without an antenna, though, since I took it off, it won't be receiving anything. Just to focus or not. Volume, uh, VFO, or channel select knob. Push to talk. Light, monitor. You look at the screen here. This was uh, programmed courtesy of Music Freak CC, who has this exact same radio. He used his uh, cable and such to uh, program this one for me. So, much appreciated, since he's also in the amateur radio business. G4 Tech is also. So there's the radio. The radio came with this, you'd call a rubber duck antenna, which uses the SMA type connector. Actually, I'm going to turn this off so I don't inadvertently kerchunk. There's the SMA. But I'm not using that. I'm actually using an adapter that I got off the internet. I'm hoping the camera's focusing here. Can't tell. Come on. Lighting's kind of tricky. This is a SMA to BNC connector that came to me courtesy of this gentleman right here. Who, make, who makes these, actually. And he also gives uh, some basic info about them. Get my thumb out of the way if you want to read that. Pause the video. Care instructions. On set adapter. Again, if you want to read that, pause the video. Now I also have this adapter that just came in from China. Cost me a whole dollar. Cost more to ship it than it did to buy it. Again, it's an SMA to BNC connector. I like the BNCs better. This is a spare adapter from that gentleman right there. This is the power, or the charger, or power plug there. Uh, one drawback on this radio, which a lot of people have mentioned, is that it takes six and a half hours to charge the battery. There's no speed charging on this, unless you get something aftermarket. So we have our connector, we have the original rubber duck that I'm no longer using, because we have different antennas. We have the baby antenna, as I call it, which is a Diamond RH519. I have the MAMA antenna, this one here, and these are all BNC connectors, or antennas. The MAMA antenna, as I call it, is the RH77CA. And these all came from Universal Radio. Let's see, you can actually see the stickers. And then we have the custom made Alley Cat. Well, actually, not Alley Cat, but the Papa antenna, as I call it. As you can see the length of this thing, it's a custom 2 meter antenna. It kind of looks like a lightsaber from Star Wars. And that was why I switched to using BNC connectors, because that's what this came with. This was made at a RARA, our local Rochester Area Radio Association, RARA Academy, which was held at RIT, hosted by uh, RIT's radio club, K2GXT. 
and we actually made these antennas. It's um, coax cable stripped down and slightly modified inside PVC pipe. Resonates to sideways, so you hold it here below that piece there. As I say, it's kind of like a lightsaber from Star Wars. So that's what kind of made me change to BNC um, antennas. And they're so much easier to use as they just pop right on. You just push them down and turn them versus having to screw them on and off. I had read about uh, problems developing with the SMA style over time as you screwed and unscrewed the antennas on these. So we don't use SMA anymore. We just put this on and leave it on. Let's see if I can do that for you right here on camera. Trying to do this one handed. There we go. As you can see, it's nice and snug. Keeps moisture and debris out. It's kind of a permanent connector. I mean, you don't have to take it off unless you want to. So I've been using the, the Mama antenna, the RH77CA, or that pouch right there. Again, this is, these are both diamond antennas, the baby and the mama. The pop antenna is a custom build, and the rubber duck came with the radio. So let's put the, whoops, again, I'm doing this one-handed. There, see how easy a BNC antenna is to put on. Now we're ready to receive. That was dropping out there and we are almost to the end. Without the antenna, this won't receive anything. That's the Aries local so Rochester, Monroe, Monroe to County to Aries two meter this, repeater. As you can see, yeah, full signal. This antenna and, uh, works very really well, especially on 2 meters, uh, or uh, 70 centimeters, 440 megahertz. And drop it in the blue section, and I'll, uh, I'll mess with it here see if I can get it to work. Uh, it's a little big though, uh, anyway, I can't imagine. Let's finish up the video for you. So this idea, or this adapter came from China, just came in today. I'm not really going to use it, but it was so inexpensive I'm not worried about it. I did mount the metal belt clip on here, that's screwed on. I also have this official Kenwood case that I really don't use, but if I were going out, I probably would, with the movable belt clip, just like a cell phone. This is an authentic Kenwood case. Radio slides in there, nice as can be. And this strap on the top helps hold it in place. Of course, we also have a spare battery. That's an official Kenwood PB-42L uh, lithium ion battery. We also have a Kenwood handset. This is a, I can get the right direction here. Got the wire all twisted around it. Uh, this, and, this headset is the only one that Kenwood is still making for this radio. The rest have been discontinued. So I kind of chose this one because it was the only one that they still have. Uh, it's behind the head headset goes on the left ear. Uh, you've got your, you can do uh, VOX with this microphone, or it also comes with a push to talk button. You can see that. The sunlight's wreaking havoc here. I can't tell what you can see and what you can't. So there's your push to talk. This headset works quite well, and people tell, tend to tell me I sound better on this than I do uh, just holding the the uh, you know the radio right up to my face. I'm not you know a super loud talker, and they tell me sometimes I'm come through very quiet. But you'll see that kind of thing in the the demonstration video as to how that works. I may do it with and without the headset. Well, I have to see on that. 
There's the microphone and speaker plugs there. And that's about all I've got for you. Again, if you're looking for a good, solid, uh, somewhat custom SMA to BNC, or he makes all sorts of different types of um, anten or, uh, adapters. This gentleman here in New Jersey makes a great product. Ships very quickly. Uh, you can contact him via email or call him up. He's always looking for business. Of course, we have our diamond antennas, the rubber duct that I'm no longer using, and one very long custom 2 meter antenna that works extremely well. This was a custom build job designed by W2EV, made at the uh, Rara Academy back in December at RIT, which was sponsored by K2GXT. Authentic Kenwood charger. Got the Mama antenna on here. That's the best antenna that I have, other than this monster, which is cumbersome. And uh, that's about all I've got for you. So thanks for watching this product review. Again, my only major complaint is uh, battery charging. You know, I would like to have, since I have a spare battery, I wish I could just simply drop the battery in to a charger without having to charge to the radio, but. So far, I haven't found an aftermarket way to do that. So until I do, I'm stuck doing it the hard way. So, hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching this Jimster 586 product review of the Kenwood TH-F6A Handy Talkie. And that's gonna be it.